Well, Las Vegas mom is determined to save lives after her son overdosed on heroin. Brett was handsome, outgoing, an A student at Durango High mm -hmm. School before drugs destroyed and eventually took his life. Outside the family home, a purple ribbon, and inside, photographs. This is Brett when he was about 14. Debbie Nadler never imagined her son would become a drug addict. I wish I had had the information back then that is available now, so I could have seen the signs better and I would have known. It started with alcohol and marijuana in high school, then pain pills in college, and his first introduction to rehab. How many times was he in and out of rehab? Nine rehabs, eight years. And in Brett's first rehab, Debbie says other addicts are the ones who introduced him to heroin. I'm a heroin addict. Um, but I used everything. One year before he died, Brett gave this interview to his cousin, hoping to help high school students avoid his mistakes. One rehab I had about a year of sobriety, and I botched that, and this one I have a year now. And, um, yeah, I just think it's kind of important for people to know. Important to know how a powerful drug ruined his life. But even after that interview and a year sober, the drug's pull was too strong. I kept telling Brett, I'm going to win. You're going to win. Heroin is not going to win. And heroin won. In March, Brett walked out of rehab for the last time at the age of 28. He overdosed on heroin the following day, exactly one year to the day after shooting this video. It's not a happy life. It's not a fulfilling life. Um, it's important to find purpose in life, you know, and on drugs, there is no purpose. Oh, if he could have, um, you know, taken his own advice, he knew it's just that the drugs pull was so strong. And just so all of you know, I know Brett, I knew him. He was my next door neighbor years ago. Uh, and then I lost touch with the family because we moved. Mm -hmm. uh, and his mom just called me a few weeks ago to say Beth, Brett died. And here's what's been happening in his life the last 10 years. So I appreciate her willingness to share his story. Now, Debbie and other addicts moms are actually holding a Lights of Hope event at um, uh, this Sunday. It's to raise awareness. And it's September 16th at New Song Church. It's from four to six. Attorney General Adam Laxalt is also one of the scheduled speakers there, and they'll even be giving out Narcan kits as well. So open to the public, right? Anyone open can go? to the public. Yep, go and educate yourself because it really could happen to anyone.